Hello everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to review the GreenShift Gutenberg Page Builder with Animation Feature. So, if you remember back in the day, old school page builders like Divi and Elementor, WP Bakery, um, they had really fancy themes that like cool flashy effects and carousels and sliders and things were fading in and out and shifting around. And it looked really cool. The only problem was that they were slow. Um, they took forever to load. They gave you horrible uh, like Core Web Vital scores or like Pingdom scores. Um, and also they were kind of cluttery and clunky to use. And as WordPress evolved into the modern era, it became into a focus of like more minimal, cleaner themes. Um, you had developers that were basically like, hey, no more flashy features straight to the substance, have a nice design, clean design, but that's it. No cool effects, okay? No fancy, flashy stuff. And for the users who did want flashy stuff, they had to suffer a little. Maybe they had to buy faster web hosting. They had to use caching. Um, but there was a lot of compromises, right? It felt like you couldn't have that super cool uh, design that you wanted. And it was like that for a while until now. This new company came out, they're called GreenShift. I don't know, I imagine green like as in green screen and shift as in like movement and motion. I think it's a clever name. So as you can see, um, basically they have a bunch of Gutenberg blocks that can be used to build your page and the Gutenberg blocks all have animation features. Everything you need to build beautiful pages with the Gutenberg editor, right? It has advanced panels, with tons of extra settings and features. The main thing, um, animation. Okay, they're promising super fast performance, no global files, so basically only loading like CSS and JS on uh, pages that need them, and that the CSS and JS assets are gonna be lightweight, super fast loading. Look, all these extra features and add-on, extra features and add-on, and on and on. Look at all these blocks. Slider, carousel, flipping, sliding, tabs, 3D model. Let me show you this 3D model. I thought this looked pretty cool. Okay, here it is. Uh, the little astronaut's going to load. I'm grabbing it right now. I can kind of zoom in and out. That looks really cool. Okay, Roblox. Um, yeah, basically all, this, all the old school page builder features you wanted to have, you can now have it. Parallax, mouse shifting, mouse trailing, animation containers and on and on and on and on and they have developer stuff right dynamic dynamic fields query builder so clearly um these are like they have dev friendly tools on there as well it's a huge toolbox um i already have it installed here on and by the way so let me show you um i just want to let you know today's re uh today's review is sponsored by scala hosting it's a really cool web hosting company. Uh, this plan that they've given me, it costs $15 a month. Comes, It's a VPS, your own private VPS for $15 a month. Has 50 gigs of space. It's pretty good performance and comes with their proprietary S panel. So S panel is like their version of C panel. And why I like C panel is because of this traditional layout right here. You see all the, the modules and settings all in one page and you can very quickly scroll through and click on what you want to make changes to, right? Uh, it's not like the modern panels, uh, the modern uh, cloud hosting like Cloudways or something where you're just clicking through tons and tons of screens trying to figure out where settings are. Very easy, very fast. I'm just a big fan. Maybe I'm just an old school guy. So I've got here, um, GreenShift is installed on this site. They gave, Scala Hosting gave me the domain and I'm hosting this test site off of it. Green shift is installed. I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to make a new one. And we're going to call it green. Okay. Now, right off the bat, we can install um, the basic. Okay. So we're going to go with the basic heading. And it looks like that. Uh, Gutenberg. So that, that way we know this is the Gutenberg one. And if I go here and I go to settings, I can see already I have animation features. I can make it bounce, I can make it spin, I can make it fade right, right? And then this decides like how you want it to be and how long and so forth. Now let's go to the next one. Um, let's add another block. And this one, I'm gonna use the green shift advanced heading. 
Okay, I go here and I'm gonna go enable. Boom. Look at what it does. See how it switches through all these texts? This is really cool. Okay. Let's say I disable this. I go over here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's leave this on. Let's go make another box. Okay. And we're going to go again. Let's pick something like... Um, let's pick accordion. Okay. Here it is. And I'm going to just type accordion, green shift. Okay. And here... I can check this out. Advanced. Uh, hold on. Where's the? Okay, maybe this one doesn't have like the animation feature. Maybe I got. Oh, I whoops. All right, I messed it up. Okay, let me delete this. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna remove this animation, and I'm just gonna use this. So from here, we can do you know, whatever we want. Pretty cool, yeah? Let's check it out on the, the front end. Looks like that. Okay. So as you can see, um, the settings is really clean, how they've laid it out. It's easy to find stuff, whatever you want to do. Um, and then tons of animation and then extra features and settings. Now, what I want to do is, is import some templates. And uh, let's see, let's do, let's see if there's like a, an entire layout I can import. Okay, so let's do this one right here. Okay, so there may be some like Gutenberg block incompatibilities between different plugins I have going on right now. Um, okay, but it looks like I'm, all right. Good enough, good enough. Let's view it on the front end. That's what it looks like. Okay, so you can see things are floating. Um, it feels very lightweight, you guys. It doesn't feel like this thing's taking forever to load. As you can see, right, I'm in the admin. I'm in the back end, and things are loading quick. Now, there are a few. We'll go with the pros, okay? We'll start with the pros. Pros is they got tons of blocks. They also have a really interesting uh, roadmap. Let me go through here. Roadmap, and you can see ACF integration, WooCommerce. You can add all this cool stuff to your WooCommerce, uh, your shopping site, layers. I saw uh, like tables and chart stuff, that looks cool, wireframe. So yeah, um, let's start with the cons. Obvious con number one is they need a more professional design library, right? That super bloated uh, beta theme, Elementor, Divi, they're so successful because they've got these beautiful eye-catching um, designs that look really professional, that don't look generic and gimmicky. So GreenShift is going to have to catch up, right? And it's not just for the newbie users, it's for the developers as well. Because devs, come on, we don't want to go from scratch and you know set every animation setting. It's better if you put something tasteful together uh, for us and we work off a template and we adjust things we like. So. They very badly need that, or else it's literally just a giant toolbox right now. It's it's not cohesive, and I'm not even sure that they can do it because look at their look at their own homepage design. It's not that fancy. It looks kind of gimmicky. Everything's sliding. Yeah, they're showing off what they can do, and the homepage indeed feels fast and loads fast. But is it? You know. Actually, let's hide that. Okay, and. Okay, so that's the first thing, the design design library. Eh. Second thing, I'm going to show you right now. So we're here. The CSS is pretty minimal, of course, because they're like, there's no fonts, there's nothing, there's no styling. It's very raw. But here's what I'm going to show you. Look at the JS. Okay, sure, they've lazy loaded the JS. Watch. Right? Boom. That's why it loads fast, because the JS is lazy loaded. I'm going to start from the top, actually, and you're going to see for yourself. So it takes half a second before all the JS loads. Um, and when it does, I think it's, yeah, you see, it's about 370 kilobytes of JS. This is kind of minimal. But let's throw this into the PageSpeed Insight test. And let's see what it scores. I'm going to go here too. I want you to see their template library because I'm going to show you some things that I think uh, should be made note of. Okay. So on mobile, scores a 94. 
on desktop scores 100 not bad i'm not totally impressed that that page was quite lean but let me show you this i saw um okay here's a carousel okay so it's got nothing on here it's just a carousel okay and it's a carousel it's not even okay they didn't even put that many things on there but i'm going to show you i also found another one that i thought was worthy of making note of um a simple page where was it they had one that was like very simple you know what i'm just i'm just gonna pick uh, this thing and call it a day okay so this thing right here that carousel thing that was like no, it was just a carousel it was nothing going on it was 70 on mobile and then 81 on desktop so for all their claims that you can get a really high page score mm, i don't know i i will say that their page can feel lightweight but i'm not convinced you'll get a high page score if you use their product we'll wait for this to load um let's look at the pricing it's not bad unlimited as many sites as you want all the features 130 bucks a year lifetime it's okay it's not cheap that's for sure okay 57 that that's not mm, that doesn't look good really like that that's all that's all that's here i don't see any animation or anything i i could build this and generate press or generate blocks and it's going to score better than this that's that's for sure last thing i'm going to complain about for these guys um, i'm going to go down to about us there's no personal name there's no personal image. I mean, I don't know who they are. Are these uh, inexperienced developers or is it just somebody that's not proud of their work? I don't know. I was writing the review. Um, at the end of the day, I think if you're a professional designer and you're making, you know, like a site for a video game or a movie or a really cool creative portfolio for creative work, you have a legitimate use, a, a very tasteful way of using animations then sure, this will be a lot of fun. Uh, for a newbie user, I think this will still be a lot of fun, but it's not gonna help you design a really good site. A good site needs substance, needs spacing, needs structure, uh, needs a good layout, okay? Um, this Green Shift plugin does not give you a good layout. It just gives you little animation tools for you to feel like your website is fancy, but it's not substance. Anyway, uh, Green Shift, Page Builder Blocks, they have a free version um, that's quite powerful. That's what I was using. Um, and then if you like it, you can do the paid version. Um, either way, it does feel lightweight. It does load fast. Uh, the scoring, eh, debatable. Um, and it's up to you to also, it takes more work for you to make something truly uh, polished and professional looking. So those are my complaints, but either, all, either way, I had fun uh, playing with it and I felt it was very easy to use and understand. I didn't have to go through tutorials and stuff. And also they don't have so many tutorials. Uh, this is their, this is their like community right here. Looks pretty active. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and let me know what you think.